wish. You know, instead of you sitting up there for five minutes, 15 minutes, or watching the world go by in your Spanish bread, you have to listen to me. Um, I have to leave this early, so I can't, um, I can't stay for very long. But uh, good evening, afternoon, everyone. Um, okay, uh, how many sophomores, they see the sophomores, and oh wow, the sophomores have taken over, they see your juniors? Okay, you guys are in my side, then no you're not, I'm good for you. Uh, and uh, fashions? Oh. Okay, um, I say good luck for, for ever so many reasons, and uh, you guys, first year people, are going to move through a lot of lectures. Organic, biochem, cell and molecular biology. We'll go all the way to public health. It will be difficult. It will be a first hoop that you'll go through. Second year people, you got through SciTech. Awesome. Now oh that, you poor things. Um, <laughs> you'll go through so many different hoops. You're probably done with some majors. You're working your way toward maybe your thesis or thinking about your thesis. Seniors and juniors working toward graduation hopefully, or maybe med school. There are lots of trials that you'll go through. And as Sir Ian has said, these trials, the Dami Bayan, when you get into the workforce, you're going to contend with ever so many things. It will be so much fun. <laughs> It will be so much fun, I think. But ultimately, I want you guys to be prepared for what's about to come. Now, here's the reason why I also tell you guys that. I want to thank, thank Sir Ian, because he made a lot of great, um, as, uh, not just a lot of great points, a lot of great segues into what I'm about to talk about. So, let's talk about what I'm about to talk about. So, let's talk about what I'm about to talk about. Okay, let's talk about what I'm about to talk about. Tokyo is public speaking. It is in general. And I like giving this talk because I'm from MBB. I spent 12 years of my life there as an undergrad and master's student, and even as a prof. Uh, I know what you're going through. May, may araw talaga na isang buong araw mag-donate na isang gigantic molecule. Natutuwa ka sa sarili mo. Kasi na, na memorize mo saan yung mga single, double, and triple bonds. At alam mo, saan kaya na may mga millions of electrons na yung know, carbon. So, natutuwa ka sa sarili mo. And, and then, uh, you get higher up and you do your thesis. Natutuwa ka na naman sa sarili mo. Na nakapag-PCR ka, may lumabas na may soap na regime. Aside from the molecular rate markers, meron kang results. Wow! There is a challenge, I think, that science did not prepare me for. Dealing with people. <laughs> a lot of it. And when you get out, my, you know, it's fun to deal with people, it's fun being at the lab, but sometimes you don't have time to be bored. And I'm glad you guys actually have Theo and Theo and oral exams, because then you get to talk. In science, bawal kami dati magsalita. Nasa loob ka ng lab, huwag kang magsalita. Kapag nakaroon ang DNA mo dito, masisira yung boomer mo, wala na experiment mo. Isang po, araw kung hindi tayo PCR na nang get to 12 and then nang run it, nothing happens. Kasi yung teacher sa live up. So, really, it's sad. But, I want you guys to be prepared. Number one, to communicate with a lot of you. And number two, I want you to remember that a lot of your training is going to prepare you for work it's also not going to prepare you for a lot of things. And I want to say this very early on because I don't want you guys to go what I go through what I went through. Na sinisigawan ng farmers, sinisigawan ng health workers, sinisigawan ng NGO, dahil feeling nila I was too attached to the sciences that I didn't know what people were like. And it was true. And when I got to my PhD, my first question was, bakit na nito tao? <laughs> so it was sad, but then when I got out, I realized science teaches me very little about people. But it does teach me a lot about the world. So let's try to reconcile those things. Now, um, when you get out of this course, you will have lots of scientific knowledge. Yeah? I'm looking at the seniors. Yeah? Lots of knowledge? Awesome. Yes. You say it like you want to hide the uh, own it. Yes. Okay. Um, the thing is, 
knowledge is not enough. It's really hard for people to relate to you when you like talking a lot about what goes on in the lab. Ang lab life mo is very different from your love life. It's very different from your real life. And I found this out very late, um, late in the game. And one more thing I found out, you have lots of audiences. And Sir, Sir you have touched on a lot of them. You have the government and your policy makers. And within your government, you have the bureaucracy of local, regional, national. You even have the UN. You have the ASEAN. You have so many different outfits that they all have different demands. You have a lot of professionals who will rely on your information and your knowledge. That includes, for you guys, your scientists, your doctors, your nurses, especially your healthcare workers. Then, of course, you have your wonderful LGUs and government workers. If you ever have the chance to deal with kids, do it. They ask the hardest questions. And this is not even where our babies from. Madali pa yan. As in, bakit hindi pa kayo nagkakasal ng boyfriend ko? Mahini ka pa na. So, kids ask the hardest questions. Grabe ang challenge na sa'yo. You have professionals and you have parents. Um, when I got out of, out of college, I thought, oh, audience, one audience, one need, one demand for knowledge. Turns out, gosh, they are diverse. Break this down into professions, break it down into gender, break it down to age, generation, location. Ang hirap pala. The audiences are so diverse. And I think if you recognize that they're really diverse and dynamic, if you recognize that a parent can also be a professional, can also be a local government worker, can also be uh, a woman with her own worries, I think if you recognize that very early on, and Ian made this really good point, if you recognize this early on, you'll get to interact with them better. So uh, I think that's, and I'm not playing to you guys or flattering you guys. One of the big weaknesses of an education in UP is that Often, there is this unseen, implicit announcement in the classroom lagging. You are the hope of the nation. You are the best of the best, or the beast of the best. You are the cream of the crop, blah, blah, blah. It, it kind of um, conditions you to believe that you know what everyone else needs to know. And even worse, that you know everything. And that's, that is kind of the weakness of a UP education. And I come over to Ateneo and I see so <laughs> I, I'm glad that a lot of you a lot of you operate from a very humble perspective of a Jesuit perspective, if I may add, sabi si Francis Talagano, that you learn from the poor. You learn from people who know more than you. That's right, people are always the kings of their own domain. You know nothing about them. They know everything about them. Their job is to ask them. So the question is, how do you know more about your audience? Um, don't rely on content. Okay, what do I mean by this? A lot of people sometimes say, Uy, tingnan mo yung masa na yan, nagnonood ng telenovelas. I'm sure in real life they're over dramatic. Or, mahilig sila manood sa TV Patrol. Siguro in real life, Bilig din sila ako sa ta! But most of the time, you can't judge people based on what they watch. You can't judge people based on what you think is so, so what you find on Facebook or Twitter, what people advertise as viral. Ian said it, you talk to them. Always engage them in conversations. Even if you have that little weird stint at the health center where you ka ng madlang people, which is always good. Oh my gosh, guys, if you get free food, eat it. Um, sorry, yeah, but that's true. When you become a grad student, there's one thing you look for, food. Um, if you get free food, go ahead, but take it a step further. Talk to them. Ask them questions about what their job is like, what their concerns are. I think it's so hard to make conclusions about um, what is often called MASA. In fact, if you go over to the comm department and you say something about mass communications or communicating to the masses, we are going to laugh in your face because there's no such thing as MASA anymore. As I said, Grabe ang diversity na ng audience niyo. And often, we make a lot of mistakes about this audience. We say, oh, masa, ano, nanonood yan ng forevermore. <laughs> Sino dito ang nanonood ng forevermore? 
Taas ang kamay. Ano? Would you, would you be called masa? Kay masa ba? No, because it's just you. And conversely, let me ask you, sila na dito na nanonood ng Game of Thrones? Oh, oh, oh. oh mga manya kayo, no? Kasi <laughs> lang na ng Game of Thrones. See, if you don't want to be judged, ah, ano ba? Umami ka? Okay. <laughs> Game of Thrones? Yeah. But, um, it's really, it's actually a very sexualized, up-sexualized up version of the book. But would you like to be judged based on Game of Thrones? Would you like to be told na siguro sa suto mong buhay may crush ka sa kapatid mo, no? So, or sa mong kapasalan ng kapatid mo, or manya ka? Would you guys like to judge that based on what you watch, based on what you read? Then don't judge your audience. So, yung viral video na yan yung advertise in ABS, hindi ko to wear. So, what should you do? Again, go talk to them. Interview your audience. Have conversations with your what you call masa. Talk to the healthcare workers. Even better, talk to the people who will eventually become your patients. You guys want to be doctors. Uh, there is nothing worse than a doctor making conclusions about you by just looking at you or by asking you what your birthday is and where you live. Tapos yun ay Make no conclusions about you. The more interested you are in people, the better you will be as a professional. Um, and this is right, you do collaborate. Make people feel, at least make them feel that you are collaborating with them and asking for their help. Allow people to contribute to your work. This is in general. So if you work at the health center, um, don't come in with a notion that you know everything and that you're there to provide them with the cure to all their illnesses. I think if you ask the seniors who were who went to Pakiloba, was that you? That was your group, right? Um, you might go to a place and think, everything here is so inefficient. Everything here is so bad. My Ateneo education has provided me with a cure to all your illnesses. Listen, brothers and sisters. Um, that was how we thought, thought in UB. And I tell you right now, word of advice, word of the wise, don't do it. You don't know anything. Totoo lang, I don't know anything about people. We know, we know nothing about our audience. Let's ask. Especially for a country with how many languages? Take a guess. 36. Language? How many? It's 200. And growing. You have 200 living languages in this country. That's more than 200 cultures. Never take it for granted. Sila napaka rich ng culture na yan. Mag-ugulat ka what you find out about people. So, make sure you interview or have conversations. Kung gusto nyo mag-survey si Gay, go ahead. Pero I would advise you, ask the social scientists for help. Kasi they're the ones who do it for a living. Very different ang research survey sa survey-survey na survey-survey na. If you have no time to talk to them, Try survey results from places like SWS, or if you want something worldwide, the Youth Center in the US. They have a lot of data about people's interests, people's religion, people's beliefs, people's culture. And if you can't go out and do a survey or talk to people, and you love reading journal articles, I'm sure marami sa inyo na, go try journal articles in sociology and psychology. Soch is going to come from the perspective of a group, a culture. Psych will come from the perspective of behavior. For the love of all things holy, do not mix the two. Those two are natural enemies of each other. The sociologists and psychologists fight over stuff all the time. Try both perspectives. So, if you can't interview, read. Um, I used to operate from the perspective of UP. I know everything. I'm from UP, I'm the University of the People. Kaya hindi daw. University of Pila is actually more like University of Paperwork is up like But we used to think that way, nakilala namin lahat. Yun pala, hindi, wala kami alam. And it's hard to admit that. So, um, really, not only do you have a lot of audiences that you have to learn more about, there's a lot of research you still need to do. Think of all the channels. And by channels, I mean all the places where you can bring in information or get information from. Your audience is not stupid. It has so many valid 
ways of knowing and thinking. And guess what? It's not always rational the way you think it will be. People don't always go online and check out reputable websites to get their information about health. Sometimes they take it from the local Sari Sari store, from someone they trust. Sometimes they base their information on the local albularyo. Because that's their culture, that's where they're coming from. Take note that there are so many different channels. Ta-da! Here is some. You can, they can get information from print of all sorts, from TV, fiction and non-fiction. Ito yung the best na I have relatives asking me, totoo ba lahat ng cases sa house? As in house the TV show. As in, magkakari pa talaga sa akin yan. No? That's really creepy if you woke up with a parasite in your eye, but okay. Because people tend to think that it's true. Movies, isa pa yan, ito ang winner. People can sometimes think movies are true. They can get information from the radio. They can get information from public lectures. But I want you to be clear about this. You will not be the only source of their information. And it can be scary where people get their information from. When they come to you for information, whether you're a doctor or a public health officer, you will hear the strangest things. I used to work in an advocacy group, and some of you will hate me for this, but my work that day was in biotech, and I used to go around the country promoting don't kill me, genetically modified organisms. As in BT core, BT cotton, BT eggplant, and our already corn. We've adapted it in the So we're in the hundreds of acres. And I used to go around and um, introduce this concept to people. Now, you know, you can add just a few base pairs of what you mean, you know, your corn will be fine. You eat DNA every day. But I heard the weirdest things, like from Greenpeace. Ah, how can you put a whole virus in strawberries? <laughs> Number one, I, you don't put a whole virus. Number two, I don't work on strawberries. Number three, I don't have to use a strawberry. I don't have to use a virus. I don't have to use a It's weird, but what, where did they get this idea? They saw it down on a movie, in a movie online. And they thought it was true because it was based now on a true story. And of course, I'm sure I'm over. Ano But think of it. Imagine if you had to go out. Kanyan ba nila mukha mo? It's disconcerting to look at, to see a doctor do that. Or a public health officer do that. Kasi feeling mo, ang mong mong naman, hindi na lang magtatalo. They have all these channels to get information from. Public lectures, it's just one way. However, I do recommend public lectures. And when I say lecture, I don't mean this. I mean, you really interact with people. Talk to them. If you want to give um, information on, say, breastfeeding, don't give out a pamphlet, especially to illiterate moms. Or worse, to moms who are so poor, they can't even make it to the health center. People, sometimes, they don't need a lovely brochure or pamphlet. They need someone to listen to them. It means more. So, um, a public lecture can allow you to talk directly to your audience. You can even get feedback immediately. And they can talk back to you, and that's the most important part. The feedback is so important, not just to them, but to you as well. It helps you improve your craft. It helps you to hone your skills. Um, I need to ask you, sino dito ang my debate classes in high school? Or debate, where do you put us at? Ah, it wasn't that. But where did you start? If it's a good class. St. Paul Passing. Yes, okay. Kinakalaman namin dati the baby. Okay, um, yeah. Uh, Saints of Manila, St. Paul Passing. There, there were a lot of debate classes that there for so many schools. They've taken it out now. Um, how many years did you take the baby? Only one third. Oh, sayang, the baby was so much fun. Um, if you do it in high school, it really hones your skills, okay? 
it gives you the chance to talk in front of an audience and be so makapalamuha that you don't care what the audience feels like. Who here can raise their hands and say confidently, I can talk in front of an audience and I'll be fine? Raise your hand. Okay, I wish there were more classes like that because it takes years to develop a public lecture speaking skill. I'm still learning and I'm 35. And I started in that when I was 13. So if you want, for the next part of the talk, I'm going to teach you a few, I'm going to give you a few things, but I'd also like you to know it takes a lot of practice. So if you're going to talk to anyone, take note of two things. You have different audiences and you have different channels. What will work for when, what will work for TV will not work for public lecture. What will work for radio will not work for print. Magkakaiba lahat yan, and you have to be practiced in all of them. So let's try a few things. Let's pretend that you're going to give a public lecture. And let's pretend you're talking to a local government union. Ian already touched on this. I'm going to add a few things. These are people who implement policy on the ground. Yes, they are kings of their own domain. Therefore, they don't like being told that they're doing something wrong. You can't tell them directly. You'll have to find a way to talk to them and ask them to collaborate with you. A lot of people complain about local government and working in government, I raise my hand to that, because of politics. But what does it mean to be in to po do politicking? Does anyone know what it means? Because you might hear a lot about, it. oh, it's all about politics. Oh, it's so politicized. What does it mean, sir? Okay, that's one aspect. What else? What does it mean? Okay, I'm going to go with you, my dear, and then I'm going to go with Kim. Sorry, because she's the only one I know. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Focus is on public image. That's another aspect. Okay, go ahead. Um, well, well, all I'm thinking is when you're, one of them is when you're busy trying, busy trying not to step on each other's toes, that you can't get anything done. Okay, now get to put all of those ideas together and make idea babies out of them. Um, politics really is that. You're focused on pleasing people. You lose sight of an idea. Politics can take the form of magkakampihan kayo sa office at my factions. Because sometimes there's just drama and everyone loves drama. There is another meaning to politics, however. If you can be neutral and take time to know people, that's actually the, in quotes, good side of politics. Take time to know them. If you're talking to LGUs, kausapin nyo sila. Don't talk about any project. Don't talk about um, whatever campaign you're working on. Talk to them about their families. Ask them how their kids are. Ask them how they are. It's not small talk if it means something. All right, so try that personal approach before you go out there and go, whoa, you are all doing things wrong. Let me save you from your folly. So uh, make sure you talk to them first. Um, for the greater part, if you're working with LGUs like Marikina or Pasi, who have a lot of problems, we call them wicked problems, because Marikina, who is the Marikina and Pasi? Oh yeah, you guys have the wicked problem of when you start, it's fast. When you start, there's a lot of pain for people. When there's a lot of pain for people, it's fast. Marikina and Pasi are very dense. When there's a lot of pain for people, it's fast. It's confusing for their problems. Uh, I used to work with LGUs in Marikina and Pasig as well, not for health, but for uh, DRR, uh, Disaster Risk Reduction, for flooding. And often when we talk to them, we had the cutest slides ever, as in my mapping, my tables, kami naman kung tuwa sa statistics, hindi, ang kailangan nila. Information they can share, and then they can use usable information. It doesn't have to be pretty, it has to be useful. There is a difference between saying 35% of something and this thing will give you 20 bandes of rain in one day. So there was a lot of information we had to retranslate for them to use. So find a way that you can make materials for them to use directly. And yes, uh, as promised, private citizens. 
Oh my goodness, this is your nanas, your children, your tatas, the parents, the grandparents. Uh, surprisingly, beste, they don't have science top of mind. They'll have a lot of things on their minds as well. Politics, how to save money, how to uh, go about their daily tasks and still eat three meals a day. Um, it's normal and it's valid. They have their own concerns. Let's respect that. Uh, they, they might not know the science, but they know a lot about their lives and more than you will think and know. So respect that. Um, if you want to talk about health, yes, top priority, and especially nanay. Parents, especially, excuse me, parents, especially nanay. Your mom will always be concerned about your kids. Talk to the mom. Talk to senior citizens because uh, they are kind of on the way out, but, and they are they are taking care of themselves. They're really concerned with public health and uh, with health. Excuse me. So if you want to do a campaign, definitely those are your targets. Uh, however, please don't forget scare tactics will work in the short term. Sino dito na LRT? What are those posters you see? LRT Aurora. What? <laughs> yeah, there's that. There's a poster that you all that you'll see. Um, you firecrackers. Ano pinapakita nila? Yung hands na injured. Oh, yung hands na injured, yung mata na injured. If you look really closely, it's really gross, and you should not eat caldereta or ice cream or chocolate. Habang tinitingnan mo yung mga graphics, kasi talaga weird siya, and it's scary. However, scare tactics research has shown works in the short term. But what's missing from that poster? Usable information. As in, if you're if I'm not using firecrackers now, what will I do in a year? What's my other option? So um, scare tactics, they don't work unless you have information and concrete advice after. This is why a lot of disaster warnings don't work either. Oi! Mabahati to ng lang pasta o! Kailangan nyo lang umalis kasi mamamatay kayong lahat. Nakikinig talaga mga tao, di ba? Do they listen? No. But if you tell people and follow it up with, you can evacuate to this place, it is clean, we will take care of you. Bring the following items. It's usable information, it's concrete. Uh, and yes, of course, you will have other sources of knowledge. You will have to compete with TV, news, movies, books, newspapers who are not alone. But in general, uh, here's something that I found out. You guys learned all this science, all this health through a classroom. You sat down, the prof stood up here, and at the end of the exam, at the end of the sem, my exam kayo. You can't expect that in the real world. You can't stand as a professor, and you can't expect your audience to know, invite, and understand everything you say. And you can't expect them to take action when you give them advice. This is true for Phil Health, I think. Right? You gave them so many packages. Did anyone take it? No. Sayang. May pera ko biya na pwede naman talaga kibin sa sa hindi bina yung shenda. Yun pala. Pwede. Pero hindi na kami. Sayang, but people didn't listen. So make sure you come into it with this mentality. You're not here to lecture, you're here to learn as well. Um, please avoid talking like a professor. Kasi talaga, nakakil ko yun. Minsan the professors get out of the university and they talk in a public health forum. Parang professor pa rin sila. There is a difference between being assertive and being arrogant. Hirap talaga makatiyan ng difference. Be assertive, you know your stuff, but also know that you don't know everything. Now, let's pretend that you're about to make a speech na, oh, hindi na tayo. Kakausapin ninyo si nanay at si tatay tungkol sa tamang nutrisyon para sa kanilang anak. O kaya, kakausapin ko si mommy to convince her that breastfeeding is the way, even if formula milk is going to make her baby no plumper, cuter, and fluffier. Uh, or kakausapin yung mga kids to tell them stop eating, I don't know, name a really bad job. Chips, that's it. Stop eating chips and eat more, you know, nutritious stuff like 
wait, wait, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um, you can give the facts out of hand that about. Try out a metaphor. Compare that knowledge with something every day, something routine, something you find in the popular culture, and even anything made in the headlines. I don't have an example right now. The only thing I can think of is, oh gosh, it's so bad. I'm so sorry for those of you who have not taken PCR yet. Uh, no, I will not make that joke, okay? It has to do with the DNA delicates. Expensive. 
Well, no, the slides are not expensive, the people are expensive. <laughs> if you want to make slides, here are a few tips. Huwag kayo pumabasa sa ice cream cream. And for all, love of all things holy, kapag may research ka, huwag mag i-copy ng place ang buong abstract sa slide. Walang pagbabasin yan. And the funny thing is, I have seen it dito, even sa Ateneo. I've seen the philosophy department do it. I've seen the bio department do it. I go to MBB and oh my God, they still do it. Abstract, ilalagyan mo sa slide, walang pagbabasan yan. 28 to 32 points or even larger. Uh, I forgot to put this in. Not more than 10 lines of text per slide. Because once your brain sees a sea of text, it will just see letters, it will not see words. non serif So this is the part where I'm giving you tips now. Wala na to, in real and ano na to, in general na to, hindi lang sa public health, pati sa health here in Ateneo. Use non serif fonts. Area, or uh, what's the other one? Kamuna? No. Calibri. Kamun? Okay, Calibri. Please don't use time zero one because your brain does two things. It reads this and it reads the symbols, these lines. And it reads them. So your brain is working over time. So reuse non serif. And yes, complement your figures with text. Don't go overboard with text. Don't go overboard with figures. Spend one minute per slide. Keep on going. And always interact with your audience. Better to have me going, come, come stop. So it's better to be interacting than to stand here, groaning, on and on, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. Now, um, these are just generalized tips, and I have a lot more. Pero I think you guys should practice. All of exams are good practice. Class presentations are great practice. If you go over to your um, internship or your practicum. If they offer you the chance to present, take it. Never ever take that chance for granted. Because every time you get a chance to speak in front of an audience, you find stuff out about yourself. Na, ito pala weakness ko. I talk like in Korean, kipa lao, wag pala, bad pala yun. Or, here's something good about me. Even if I'm, what is happening up there? Okay. Even if I'm completely hung over from the night before, which I am not, by the way, um, <laughs> even if I'm completely hung over, kaya ko pala present. You find out a lot about yourself. Don't let anyone, don't, don't let that chance go. And finally, keep learning. I think you guys are in a great position. You're public, you're about to go into public health. You are in the health sciences, you are in the sciences. The sciences are all about asking, about learning, about inquiry, about knowing more. Keep that attitude all throughout your life, no matter what subject you're learning, no matter what subject is in front of you. And this, this will be a piece of cake. So, everyone, thank you very much and...